Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. There was a great man of God by the name of Smith Wigglesworth. He had some of the most outrageous miracles. For instance, fire would come out of his body and burn up disease. My next guest received an impartation from his great-granddaughter in which fire comes out of him to burn up disease. That's good for him. It's good for Smith Wigglesworth. But what about me? Am I Swiss cheese? <laughs> what about you? He says he can pray that impartation on you. Anyone else besides me want it? <laughs> uh, you know, Jack Sheffield, one of my favorite chapters in the Jewish scriptures mm -hmm. is the prophet Ezekiel. He yes. had to do some pretty wild things. Yeah. But in the 47th chapter, mm -hmm. he talks about a river that God's given you a revelation on. Yes. Tell me about this river. Where's it coming from? It's coming from the throne of God, Sid. And That's a good place. <laughs> Je Jesus is out in the middle of this river, and he's beckoning Ezekiel to come out. He comes out ankle deep. He comes out waist deep. He comes out where Jesus is saying, I want you to come out all the way, and I want you to swim in this river of God. Meaning you have to be totally dependent on God Absolutely. because there's no bottom. You're just swimming. You have to swim by faith. Yes. You're immersed in His presence. You, you are inundated with Him. You are absolutely overcome with, with His Spirit. And He moves you. Every, everything about that river moves you. It's time for the body of Christ to come out of the shallows and into the deep waters with Jesus Christ. It's time for the body of Christ to go swimming in this <laughs> You know, you have such a gentle spirit, but as a teenager, it's hard to believe you were pretty rebel. I was. My generation became disillusioned, angry, rebellious. We, we became self-destructive. We started doing things like drugs. We started, uh, re, you know, rebelling against God. Uh, when my sister died at age 24, I shook my fist at God and I said, I want nothing more to do with you. And my life plummeted. It took six years for me to go into hell. But I ended up tormented, demonized. I was hearing voices. I was suicidal. So how did you end up in the backyard of a strong Christian? Now, why would you even, how could that have happened? Well, she, she knew me uh, from the time I was in junior high, and she loved me. I knew that. Uh, and she heard about what was going on in my life. And, and somebody said, that Jack Sheffield's going straight to hell. That's what they said to her. And she said, not my Jack Sheffield. My Jack Sheffield's going to heaven. I'm not going to let him go to hell. Not on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> so Ooh, she prays you into her yes. backyard? Yes, yes. That's prayer. <laughs> but the Holy Spirit said, go out and on the swing. Somebody's coming tonight, and it was me. I just got in my car and drove to her house, had no real reason for doing it, except I believe the, the tractor beam of the Holy Spirit was drawing me in. Hey, how were you filled with the Holy Spirit? Well, Wanda was her name that was praying for me, and she got me down on my knees uh, in a ditch on Highway 90A right by the Brazos River where I grew up in Richmond, Texas. And when I prayed the, the sinner's prayer, liquid honey came down my, my being, just all, just drenched, golden honey just drenched all of that pain, all that fear, all that torment, all that doubt, all that shame, all that rage, all that anger, all that rebellion, washed it right out my toes. And I'm free. 
Is that the way they say it in Texas? That's right, right. out of my toes. Right out of my toes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, now, you're in this service where everyone that needed healing got healed. Tell me about that experience. Went to, to church where there were supernatural signs and wonders. So, um, a woman a died during the sermon. Oh, oh my God. And the preacher told me later on his sermon was not that bad. It really was not that bad. It, oh she, it's a good way to have a membership drive, drive yeah. all the members out. <laughs> they pronounced her dead. The priest came Please down and, and fell on this woman, weeping, got, like Elijah did over that little boy that was dead. The ambulance came in. They, they pronounced her dead. They put her on the, the gurney. They put a sheet over her. They, they were halfway to Ben Taub Morgue in, in Houston, Texas. And the sheet sits up. <laughs> and, and, and the driver sees it, and, and, and she's fighting the sheet, trying to get the sheet off of her. And then finally she said, where are y'all taking, taking me? me? <laughs> and, 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 and they said, anywhere you want to go, where do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, where's a TV camera when I need it? <laughs> and, and, and she said the most wonderful thing. She said, I didn't get my Eucharist. That's the communion. I want, I want, I want my Eucharist. And, and so uh, take me back to my church. What do you think happened to that church when she walked in there? God tore that place up. Absolutely tore it up. What's it, what's it like to see everyone healed? Tell me that service. When we were uh, praying over a, a group of people on a Sunday night in our church, uh, I Lord, had fire in my hands. And I, I looked up at my friend John Mark as we were praying for this lady. And I, when I saw the golden light, I said to John I Mark, I can't, I can't even see your face. Do you see what I see? see, what I see? And he said, I see, I see it. it. And it was the golden Shekinah glory of God that had saturated the whole front of that church. And I said something so strange. I said, God is here. God is, here. God is, God is manifesting here. here. Ask, what you, <laughs> ask what you will, but be careful what you ask. Yes. And, and this man standing next to me came to the healing service because he had kidney stones. The moment he asked, he was instantly healed. His wife was over here, and she said, my son is very, very sick. And, and I tried to call him so I could and tell him that I'm going to be praying for him tonight. He's been very, very sick, but his phone was broken. And, but I came here because I want you to pray for him. And when she prayed, they compared notes later, and at the same moment that she prayed, he sat up in the, in the bed totally healed. And so that, that fire went over anyone that needed Everything. healing. Everything. When we come back, I want to know how that same fire yes. that burned out disease on this famous healing evangelist, mm -hmm. Smith Wigglesworth, came upon you. Yes. Be right back. Amen. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. ISN. The It's Supernatural online network is not just another Christian TV network. ISN offers live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right on your mobile devices or smart TVs. ISN lets me watch my favorite shows anytime I want. These exclusive programs are life-changing. Multitudes report getting healed and having their prayers answered. Get ready to receive your supernatural breakthrough, your healing, your miracle. Download the free ISN app today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Yeah, you know, Jack, I've been talking about Smith Willisworth, and I've studied a lot about him. But for those who aren't familiar, tell me a few of his miracles that were recorded. A, a lot of people, you know, have probably heard this story, but it's, it's the most dramatic that I've ever heard. Uh, there was a man that he prayed for that had no feet. Hmm. And um, he said, uh, tomorrow you go get some shoes. And the man said, go get shoes. And he said, yes, I want you to go get shoes. But no feet. He had no feet. Okay. And by faith, I guess he caught it from Smith. By faith, this man went to the shoe store. He bought the shoes. I could just picture the shoe sales. Yes. <laughs> he has no feet. Okay, go on. <laughs> so the shoe salesman, with great trepidation, puts these shoes on, on these stubs. And they grew feet wow. right in front of his eyes. Grew feet. Now that is power. Mm -hmm. But his great granddaughter, yes. what was her name? Lil Defend. 
She prayed for you. Tell me the circumstances. We were in an apartment uh, downtown Houston, and she was telling us about their ministry of digging water wells in, in Africa so that they could start, um, you know, economies for these small tribes. And then she looked at us and she said, would you like to have what Smith had? And we jumped to our feet immediately, and, and we were drinking tea, okay? And she was this nice, sweet little British lady. She became a fireball. She starts beating me in the stomach, saying, fire, 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 fire! <laughs> and I'm just like, whoa! I mean, I'm I, just, I don't know if I'm going to ask you to pray for that. For me. <laughs> and, 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 and I was just reeling like this, and then she started beating my wife. I mean, she's, bam, bam, fire, fire, fire! And then she prophesied over my wife, you're going to hand dead babies back to their mothers alive! <laughs> <laughs> That's why I, I follow her everywhere she goes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you feel when that you received that impartation? I felt the power, and I knew that an anointing had gone into me. From that moment on, when we would pray for people with diseases, fire would go into those organs and burn up the disease. Uh, tell, tell me a few that have been healed. There was a, a gentleman who had no insurance. He had, he had no way of paying for what the doctor said was bone cancer. And he, he was desperate because he had no way. He didn't want to go to the hospital. He didn't want to die in the hospital. And so he came to our healing center. And we sat down with him, and, and I simply said, Sir, uh, can, can I, I pray, pray for, you? for you? You're obviously in a tremendous amount of pain. Every Bones. bone in his body was racked with pain. And he was weeping. Jesus. It was so painful. Heal him. And before Heal I could him. lift my hand up, fire hit his brain oh my God. and just started burning. And, 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 and I what said, do what feel? do you feel? And, and he had tears. He said, I feel fire. I feel. And he said, oh, my God. And I said, what? And he said, it's fire. in my chest. It's in my chest. And I said, you've got fire in your chest. He said, yes. And, I, and he, oh, my God. He said, it's in my, my knees. knees. And it visited every part of his body. And he was completely healed of bone cancer. <laughs> you know. Let's face it, there's so many skeptics of the supernatural, of the power of God. What would you say to someone? They say, well, if you've got so much power, why don't you just go into a hospital? What would you say to them? I'd say, thank you, because we're already there. <laughs> oh, well, that's right. <laughs> How many hospitals do you We're in to? six hospitals, going into our seventh hospital. Yeah, and, and what do you do in these hospitals? We open up heaven. That's the first thing we do, is we worship our way into the glory of God in the, in the chapel. Have you ever seen anybody in a chapel, Sid? Well, now you're going to find a strong team of people in each one of these chapels. It's and not someone doing a cosmetic little bless no, you, child. No, Bye-bye. No, sir. And we have, we have the blessing of these hospitals. We actually have become their pastoral, pastoral <laughs> care. Some of them don't have chaplains. We become their pastor. They beg us to come. Please come. We've got to have Jesus. It's a marriage of the best medical with the best of God. Absolutely. That's my kind of hospital. Come on. Come on. That's where I want to go. All right. Tell me briefly about that man that was unplugged. Yes. Um, our, our team was faithfully worshiping, and, and the glory of God had come into the, to the uh, chapel, and a family came in. They were very disheveled. They were very, very angry and upset, grieving. We they were going to have to pull the plug on their dad. No. And so they didn't want our team to just pray for them, so the team just backed up and released the heavenly atmosphere of, of Jesus over this family. They were able to resolve their, their tears, and, and they wept in each other's arms. They said, I think we're ready to go upstairs. The chaplain was up there with one of our team members, and um, the doctor was there to pull the plug. She said a beautiful prayer. They pulled the plug. The man sat up and he said, how y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, now, can I share just one more thing? Oh, please. When he woke up, he had no viable uh, heart whatsoever, no viable kidneys, and that's why they were going to unplug him, because there was right. no, essentially no life there. Of course. The thing is, is that he, when he came back to life, he didn't come back with halfway measure. Amazing. He came back with a 24-year-old heart and 24-year-old kidneys. <laughs> Now, wouldn't you rather see this on the evening news than what we get? <laughs> <laughs> I would. Uh, uh, all right, when we come back, is it as powerful for you to pray with the spoken word 
for the fire impartation yes. as just laying hands on someone? Yes, absolutely. All right, I'm going to have him pray for you. Be right back. <laughs> We'll be right back to It's Supernatural! Call now and get Jack Sheffield's powerful and anointed book and three-part audio CD teaching, God's Healing River, Overcoming Sickness, Fear, and Despair, exclusive for our It's Supernatural! audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9481. Jack Sheffield's powerful book, God's Healing River, answers questions you have about the Holy Spirit and how God can move through you to save, deliver, and heal you, your loved ones, and even the nation. You will understand how faith comes to you, the believer. Learn how healing can freely flow from God to you. Find out how to pray and prophesy with power. Understand the test for truly hearing God like never before. Learn how to discern the true presence of God. Find out why obedience often precedes faith itself. Learn how to break past spiritual barriers and receive your miracle. Begin to move in the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. In Jack Sheffield's exclusive three-part audio CD teaching, series, God's Healing River, you will clearly understand the delivery systems of power gifts, revelation gifts, and vocal gifts. Learn what the greatest thing on God's heart is right now. Be empowered by the fire, the lightning manifestations of God, which will bring powerful deliverance, healing to you and people you love. Understand the simple heavenly keys that will bring miracles. Included on the CDs is Jack Sheffield's prayer for miracles to be released and God's rest and peace to be released in your life. I believe people will really feel it's easy yeah. to pray for the sick and see the Absolutely. same results you have and even greater. Amen. And remember, the healer isn't you. The healer is Jesus in you, the hope of glory, and it's time to turn him loose because you're his hands, you're his feet, you're his mouth, you're his ears. You're inspired. Don't miss out on getting Jack Sheffield's powerful anointed book and three-part audio CD teaching, God's Healing River, Overcoming Sickness, Fear, and Despair, exclusive for our It's Supernatural! audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9481. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural! P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9481 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural! Now, Jack, 20 years ago, you were involved in a very, very serious car accident. The devil tried to take you out. What happened? I was hit by a 25-ton asphalt truck. Mm. I was driving a Geo Metro. They're primarily made up of aluminum. The cop drove up and he said, that guy didn't make it because it was so badly squashed. It blew out my aorta. I was bleeding to death internally. It ripped my liver in half. It smushed it like a watermelon. Eight broken ribs, compound fractures. My hip was broken in two places. I was spurting blood. There happened to be a pediatrician behind me. Just happened. Just happened. And I watched a young man, uh, you know, pacing that, that hit me, and he said, oh my God, I've killed a priest. Mm. And my heart was broken. Uh, I was six minutes from one of the best trauma centers in the, in the country. The doctor came out and he said, sir, you're, you're probably uh, not going to ever walk again. The, the lower extremity nerves had been deprived of, of oxygen. Um, and he said, if, if you live 20 hours, you'll you make 20 it. 20 hours. But he said, I don't believe you're ever going to walk again. Mm. Uh, I saw Anna Marie pushing a wheelchair, and what came out of my mouth, what was what I had been putting in for years, the Word of God, somebody Word of God, there, like, what came out of my mouth is, Doctor, somebody up there likes me, and you're going to do a fantastic job, and I passed out. <laughs> well, you had an encounter yes. where you were taken to heaven. On the 20th hour, uh, my blood pressure went from 300 over 200 and went to climbing and I left the, my body. Uh, they coded me, and I was instantly in the arms of Jesus. Coded I, means you're dead. You're dead, yes. Okay. And they, um, uh, Jesus had me under a tree in paradise, and I'm in his lap. And I knew that my wife, we had lost a little boy to leukemia when he was seven years old, and I knew Anna Marie, my, my wonderful bride, 
could not take another can't one. can't take another one. We, we had an intercessor that saw death coming to get me. She was in the chapel. And she stood up and she, she said, no, you can't have him. It's not his time. Jesus looked over my shoulder. I didn't know what he looked at, but I saw him look at something over my shoulder. He heard her. And I knew I was out of there. That's all I know, is I knew I was out of there. And I looked at him and I said, can I be a part of the last great harvest? What did he say? He said, if you want to. And he is the kindest, most beautiful, most loving, the most amazing human being anywhere in a billion universes. And I want to tell you, when I came into my body, I told Anna Marie, he's got the bluest eyes you have ever seen. <laughs> and I started speaking in a language that was not from this world. It was parabolic. It was, she said it was symbolic. It was, it was different images. It was different concepts. It was a language. She said that, that man must have gone to heaven because nobody's ever talked that way before. But what happened to that body that was destroyed? Well, I believe because never walk again. That's obvious. Yes, you're walking. (laughs) Well, um, the liver was the big problem because they said you're going to have to have a a transplant, and so you're going to be in the hospital for six weeks. And um, so on the seventh day, all my liver functions went normal, and I got a brand new liver. It's I love my liver. I just love my liver. (laughs) I hug it all the time. Okay, Uh, very quickly. You recently had an encounter yes. uh, with God, yes. and He gave you a message to give us. Which is it? It was supernatural. It was a sign and a wonder. I poured coffee into a Melita filter, and it was instantly sucked down into the cup. Melita filters take a long time for the, the coffee to filter down into the cup. It was a supernatural sign. I picked up the, the filter thinking maybe there was a hole in it. It would have plugged the, the, the hole up in the, in the plastic part. And I stopped and I said, what are you saying to me? And this is what he said. What I'm about to do in this earth is going to happen so fast, your mind is not going to be able to keep up with it. Behold, I come quickly, the Lord says. I believe we're in that season. The greatest harvest yes. in history. Is it for everyone or yes. just special yes. people? Yes. No, it's for every person. It's going to take everybody. One person can't do this. Five, Fifteen evangelists can't do it. It's going to take people all over the world. It's going to hit simultaneously. It's going to hit every nation at the same time. You're not going to have to go to one location to have revival. Revival is going to be everywhere. Pray fire. I want you to pray for an impartation of that fire yes, yes. right now. I want you to know that there is a gift that comes from heaven. It comes from the throne of God. Daniel saw it. It's a river of fire that comes out of heaven. And every river that is in heaven is destined for this earth. So, Father, will you send that river of fire into the body of Christ, even into your people right now, Lord God. Burn up diseases. Burn up. You are a consuming fire, my Father God. You are, you are these not angels of fire, ministering spirits of fire that right now are being sent to lost loved ones, to those that are broken, those that are separated from God. I declare right now, fire is burning up separation from God. You are not abandoned. You have not been left alone. You have not been orphaned. God is healing separation right now between you and Him. And God, I thank you. You're burning up mental disease. You're burning up dementia in the name of Jesus Christ. For In the name of Jesus, Lord, there is psoriasis that is disappearing by the fire. You're feeling the fire on your body right now. I thank you, my Father God. There's a hip situation that's so bad you're you're talking about surgery. God, burn it up right now in the name of... Gird in the name of Jesus. We know what stops you. Fire is what kills fire. That's what the firemen say. Fire in in the mountains. Fire will kill the fire. So, Lord, send a fire of your spirit right now and burn up that gird that is destroying that man's throat in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for releasing a a, a religious spirit off of people, Lord God, where they come into the might and power of who you are, and they flow with you. Like like Wigglesworth said, the church is going to learn how to flow with the medical community, and they will become one, and there will be miracles and signs and wonders that will follow in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want you to say, that's me. I receive. 
The river of God represents the coming spiritual surge of the manifest glory and power of God that will rival all previous moves of God in former generations. The true nature of salvation involves the healing of individuals, families, communities, and ultimately the nations of the world. Jack Sheffield has been living a life full of miracles. Jack wants to mentor you and help you enter into the healing river of God, where you will experience your breakthrough, your healings, and your miracle, and to become a vibrant part of the next great move of the Holy Spirit. God has called us in this time, I believe in a prophetic time, we're going to find people swimming in God's river. Call now and get Jack Sheffield's powerful and anointed book and three-part audio CD teaching, God's Healing River, Overcoming Sickness, Fear, and Despair, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience, yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9481. I wrote that book because I felt that, that God wanted to expand the healing ministry in the church and perhaps even go beyond the church into the marketplace. I wanted people to know how to do the works of Jesus and how to destroy the works of the devil. Jack Sheffield's powerful book, God's Healing River, answers questions you have about the Holy Spirit and how God can move through you to save, deliver and heal you, your loved ones, and even the nations. You will understand how faith comes to you, the believer. Learn how healing can freely flow from God to you. Find out how to pray and prophesy with power. Understand the test for truly hearing God like never before. Learn how to discern the true presence of God. Find out why obedience often precedes faith itself. Learn how to break past spiritual barriers and receive your miracle. Begin to move in the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. In Jack Sheffield's exclusive three-part audio CD teaching series, God's Healing River, you will clear understand the delivery systems of power gifts, revelation gifts, and vocal gifts. Learn what the greatest thing on God's heart is right now. Be empowered by the fire, the lightning manifestations of God, which will bring powerful deliverance, healing to you and people you love. Understand the simple heavenly keys that will bring miracles. Included on the CDs is Jack Sheffield's prayer for miracles to be released and God's rest and peace to be released in your life. When you Listen to these things. I believe people will really feel it's easy yeah. to pray for the sick and see the, the same results you have and even greater. Amen. And remember, the healer isn't you. The healer is Jesus in you, the hope of glory, and it's time to turn him loose because you're his hands, you're his feet, you're his mouth, you're his ears, you're his heart. Don't miss out on getting Jack Sheffield's powerful anointed book and three-part audio CD teaching, God's Healing River, Overcoming Sickness, Fear, and Despair, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience, yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9481. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9481 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. We're in a season of radical anointings that will propel you into supernatural realms. My name is Jeff Jansen. Join me on It's Supernatural as I pray in impartation over you to be activated for signs, wonders, and miracles. 